So first press new and then press velocity and basically it's kind of hard to explain but you just um add a keyframe where you where you hear each beat and you make it higher just before the beat hits and then a few frames later you drag that down to however slow you want the clip to be and you can drag the other keyframe to be as high as you want to make it as fast as before it slows down as possible and that's pretty much all i'm doing for the whole thing is the hardest part it's just to find the beats so just kind of listen and just kind of you know add the keyframe where you think the beat is and that's pretty much it sometimes you may need to make it faster for if the person isn't like moving as much to make it seem more noticeable and um i think that's kind of it <laughs> i don't know just watch what i'm doing i guess If your audio loops, you can press velocity and move that keyframe to the center and drag that down to where I am right there. And this will reverse your clip. You can either do this or just split it in the middle and just copy and, you know, put the clip in for the second part and it should match up. It's kind of confusing to say. I really don't know how to say it. <laughs> Now that's pretty much it for the actual velocity part you can just stop here or you can press new and then transform and go to vs motion blur press edit and then if you put blur and blend to 100 and then set that on leading this will kind of make it look a little more smooth it basically just kind of blurs everything a little bit adds a little bit of motion blur and it makes it look really nice And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you. It's very hard to explain, so just try your best to follow along with what I did. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,